Hi everyone and welcome to another live trading series. It is Tuesday, January 11th. It is lunchtime and I'm doing my weekly trades. I'm going to give you an update on my Tesla poor man's covered call, which I haven't done in a month because I haven't done anything, but I'm going to open another poor man's covered call on Nvidia. I had Nvidia last year, but it ended up going up so much. I had to close my poor man's covered call because it breached my strike. I wasn't making any more money on it, so I closed it. But now I'm doing something different with Tesla because it has been breached. Okay, I'm all over the place. I'll show you how I manage my in the money Tesla poor man's covered call and then I'll open a new one on Nvidia. So what I will do, I'm just gonna break down what Tesla is doing. Tesla, ha it's around 1,068 per share right now. If you've been keeping track, here's my little updater. So I bought a call for $33,500. I was selling weekly calls on it until it breached my, like uh, until it breached my short call. I've made 6,951 so far. It's been 252 days, which is not too bad. As you can see, I just been, I rolled from 870 to 910 for break even. I'm gonna try to roll from 910 to 950 for break even as well. Now let's get, Let's get into it. right now. My break even on Tesla is like 565 if it were to drop, but I am in a pretty good spot. If we go back to Quest Trade, Quest Trade, I'll just show you my call. I bought it for $17,000. Now it's worth $16,000. What I'm going to do is roll this one up and add 30 days. Good thing about Tesla, it has a lot of volatility. I should still be able to roll it up a little bit and break even. So if I show you right now, I have a diagonal call set up. It's like the easiest way, I guess. So we have to buy back the exact call we sold. So I sold the 910 and I have to buy it back and I will sell, hopefully 950 will help me break even. See here, perfect, this is good, this is good. So I'm going to go, <laughs> um, if we go, I'll try to make $5 on this so it pays for my commission. So what's happening here? I'm going up $4,000. So 9, 10 times 100 is 91,000. And I'm going up to 95,000. So I am going up $4,000 for ideally zero, zero dollars. I'm, they're gonna pay for my commission here. I'm rolling it out 30 days, I'm making, so um, the, the way, so this is unrealized. If Tesla does get a sign, if it gets called away, and I have to close, I owe someone 100 shares at 950 instead of 100 shares at 910. So I am making another indirectly another $4,000. So 4,000 divided by what I paid for one, oh geez, 4,000 divided by, not multiplied, basic math. So it is another 11.9% that I'm going up a month, but I'm not planning, I hope I don't get assigned on this. I hope I don't get short called. So you know what I could do? I could go out even further to March and then I could go to like 975. I could go to 975 and go to March for and make $300. But I think if I let theta decay near near February, I can go up another 40, another $50. Right now I'm going from 950 to 975, which is only 2,500, but I think I could go up to 1,000. I think I can go a little more. So I'll go 950, try to make midpoint. Do you think I could get, whatever. Not gonna cry about it, 0 0.05. I can fill this. $5 going up, buy to close, sell to open. That's what I'm looking for, perfect. One good thing about buying an in the money call and the stock goes up, I'm at a 98 Delta. I think I bought at 85 Delta and it's gone up $43,000. I'm going to try to make as much as I can on this. I have 374 days left. I will show you doing the same thing with Nvidia. With NVIDIA, I'm going to go two years out, almost two years exactly. So right now it's January 11th. I will be buying January 19th, 2024. How to, how to do an in the money, how to do a poor man's covered call is buying an in the money call as your protection. And I look, see the Delta sign. I'm looking for 0 0.9, maybe 0 0.85. We'll see what those look like and how much they cost. 0 0.9 is 135. 0.85 is... 165. 
So one, 135 is about 50% of this. So I will be saving like $13,500. It is capital efficient and I'll probably buy two. If we look at what my break even would be, it would be the, the cost of the call. So let's say 157 plus the short strike. I mean the long strike. So if we go 157 plus 135, my break even is 292 and I should be able to sell 310s or 315s on NVIDIA to make a few hundred per month. So if we try to buy, should I go 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 0 0.85, I don't know, 0.85. So, ah, okay. I'm going to go 0.9. I'll buy two and I'll try to buy the midpoint 157. Buying two for $31,450. Buying two money calls. Let's do it. And then I will sell. So I bought for 157. What I will sell are monthlies. And I'll be looking for, let's say, let's see what the 25 Delta looks like. If we look at the 25 Delta is 320 and I'll be making $500. So 500 divided by 15,700. This will be 3% per month. If I sell the 320, I think 25 Delta 320 should be good for 30 days for Nvidia. And I will sell that right now. Sell two. I am doing this in two different in two steps. I know you could do it in one, but I will sell for 540 and this will be $1000. Perfect. And I will set it up over here. So I had Nvidia, I had closed it. I'm going to reopen it. I'm going to update sorry, I'm going to update this live in front of you. I know this is not good content to see me go through this. So buying January 2024 minus 15,700 times two. Nice. I bought the 135 strike and then I'm selling Feb 18th, 2022. And I made, hopefully I made a thousand. I will update this a little better. And the strike is 320. Let's see if this works. If I could bring this down, that's the wrong one. So we'll go 473. How much am I making? Ding, ding, ding. So what is this? I will, yeah, I will have to update this. Let me, let me work on this. This is not working out too well. 473. So I'll, I'll work on updating this and I'll let everyone know where it's at right now. Oh, this should be times 200. That's fine. So I'll work on this. This is my poor man's covered call. Um, I show you how I bought it. Hopefully I can make 3% a month. I don't want to get breached, but if it does, I can manage it. Same with the same thing I'm doing with Tesla. I think, is that it all I'm going to show in this video? It's a pretty short video. So with Tesla, this didn't get, my order didn't get filled, but I will update it to make sure it goes through. If I give you an update on my iron condor, it's not decaying too much. I'm up let's say $1,200 on it. I have three days left. I will probably roll this out. So I'm probably gonna wait one or two days and I'll roll this out. Ideally, I wanna be able to film it for you guys. Right now it's Tuesday. I don't wanna sell. I don't wanna sell the January 21st. It's too early. Tesla can move too much. I'm just gonna let this decay a little more. And then, and then we can see where we go from there. The put side, decaying a little more, obviously, because Tesla's going up, but I'm still like 10% away. If Tesla's at 1066, in three days, if it goes up even 1066 times 1.1, I could, if Tesla could still go up 10% in three days and I'll still be good. And I could probably still manage it. I do save the buying power, my buying power in case I need to manage it. I do have around 181,000 in buying power left, which is not bad. I'm probably not going to sell it, open any more options because I am. I don't know. I, I do want to save this just in case I need to manage anything. So I'll kind of just leave it, leave it here for now. I know I have a problem with trading too much. I do like trading. <laughs> Sometimes I do get bored. That's why I don't sell too many long, long-term positions. Cause I 
I, don't know, I just get an itchy finger and I do want to trade. I don't like selling 45 days expiration. I like selling 30 days just so I could trade a little more. It might not be the best financial, like financial decision, but we could do, ooh, order filled. So I got my, I got my fill of right in the middle and I'll, yeah, and I'll kind of go from there. I am going to show you next week. I am going to wait till next week. You see these days expiration 10, like um, Neo, I have in the money puts on Neo, Square, and Riot, and I'll show you how to manage it. Maybe with, ideally with not deploying any more buying power, but I'll show you how I manage in the money puts by rolling down and out 30 days. I'm going to leave it here. Let me know if you have any questions. Maybe I'm going to post this on Reddit to try to get some more followers or some more viewers on my channel, but we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. Tune into the next one.